You just want to prove that you want to, that you are in love with her to marry her. Fuck you and the little pony you rode on. Don't you ever call me again, sick son of a bitch. <laughs> ha! That's it. Never heard from him again. So if he married the wrong woman, he was one fucked up dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not my problem. Right. I was very happy. Pretty long time relationship here with someone. Mm -hmm. And I don't need your ass calling me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Period. Erase my number. Period. So I'm erasing yours. Yeah! Yes. What did you say? Um, they think that we're what? That we're waiting there for them because like, life doesn't go on, you know? <laughs> the hell out of my face. So this so, is my morning routine. Between the cats and my face, I spend hours and I get to work late every day. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. How many cats do you have? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Seven inside the house and, and three, three outside, outside that I take. Anyway. I have 10 cats. Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté, ¿qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal. Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es, cómo se lo mami. Hola, hello, welcome back to Time with Tally. So today I have a really cute video for you guys because I'm really excited to do this. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me. We're gonna do a little story time, but I'm gonna actually have my grandma join me today because I'm gonna tell a story about my ex-boyfriend and how he ruined my birthday. She does not know about this story. She doesn't know the details. We're gonna get genuine reactions from her. <laughs> <laughs> and she already hated him, so I'm not gonna say his name, but you know who it is. We're gonna go get ready to have some breakfast. Yep. How, how many degrees is it outside, grandma? 28. <laughs> My Puerto Rican grandma is not yeah, excited at I all. I cannot take that. No, earlier she also she was like, um, can we get order ring? Can they yeah. deliver? So let me start this story, okay? So for my birthday week, he had taken off work. And honestly, before at the place that we were working at, because that was the one person I actually did date while we were working together at the same place, he only got like, I think like, okay. He only got like a week off of vacation every year or something like that. So he decided, okay, I'm going to take her birthday week off. Right. And I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible because I thought he likes to talk. I also want to give just some background context. So we started dating in January and six months in, in June, I caught him cheating. <laughs> he was talking to a girl. I think that had literally just turned 18 or like 19 or something like that. Like she was still pretty young. <laughs> How straight is ass? <laughs> I call it cheating. That's what I consider cheating because if you're talking to like another girl and saying certain things that you probably shouldn't be saying that I'm not going to like, I don't give a fuck. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's me. I don't care. I don't care whether you do something physically or not. If it's emotional cheating, you're a cheater. You're a piece of shit. Create boundaries with people outside of your relationship. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. He decides he's going to like, I guess he was messaging her talking about something along the lines of, oh, you've grown up so beautifully. Yeah, I was stupid. So I was young, whatever. I actually caught those messages and I'm pretty sure he probably like deleted some because you know like when you check the man's phone and no. all his stuff is like gone. In reality, that's not realistic. No. Like, so he was definitely like deleting shit. That's I true. caught that. I was fucking heartbroken. Like I like threw up. Like I was a mess and I'm hurt as shit. And right. And I'm just like, I think I'm all set. Like this is crazy. Like whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because I caught him up. I picked him up from work that day. He was a stupid bitch. He left me his car that also had to have his phone in because he couldn't bring his phone into work. He's a dumbass. <laughs> Shit. I didn't even know how to cheat without getting <laughs> what a fucking fool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> um, he got out of work. I sat him in the cars. He ends up coming. He sits in the freaking driver's seat, whatever. We drive to my house. So he goes, he's about to like, I think like sleep over. I don't remember at this point, but I remember I said, so you got anything you got to tell me? If a woman tells you that. Be honest. Be honest because we already know what we're about to ask you about like what the fuck like what the fuck like, he didn't catch it no he he's didn't he's a dumb fool I <laughs> and of course he lied he lied to my face he's like no i have no idea what you're talking about like what do you mean mm -hmm. what do i have to tell you mind you just for some context i'm gonna paint a picture of what this person looked like he was a taller man he was probably like six one or whatever but he was a bigger boy too so he was uh, well chunky. in his well chunky. in his well in his 200s or something like that he was a chunky boy mm -hmm. and that's that's fine. I don't give a shit. Whatever. I'm also say this. He was a very hairy man. Massive fucking beard, ha chest hair, back hair, like the whole line. He was a very. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> He yeah. was, he was, but when I'm in love with someone, I'm blind, okay, Grandma? Yeah, no I shit. Can't. No, 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 you're not the only one that's blind. We're all blind. We just Back. find out we have aftershocks. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> Keep that in mind for further on in this video, okay? <laughs> he was also like one of those like video game players that's like religiously oh, a video shit. game player. Will go home, freaking play it for hours, and then like not pay attention to me, like type shit. Like goodbye, goodbye. 
Now I would not be dealing with that shit, but back then I did not love myself yeah. enough. Honestly, I have decided I'm going to make a series of episodes where I tell stories about all the times I was a pendeja for an estupido. I'm being so serious because I have so many stories. It's not even funny. It's so sad, actually. Like, I don't have anything to hide from you, blah, 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 all this other mm. stuff. And I was like, okay, do me a favor. Explain to me what this is. And so I show him his phone <laughs> with the messages. He's like, I have no idea what that is. Oh, Come on. Give me a Fucking right. <laughs> he should have just admitted it and he would have been better off. Right. What an asshole. Right. He started with the waterworks and he started crying and all this other stuff. And I was just like, how am I ever like going to trust you again? And you literally, you know about my past. I told you about my past and how my other boy, I've only had two boyfriends. My first ever boyfriend, he did the same shit. I caught him talking to another chick. Not for nothing. Like, you know my story. Why are you going to now try to play on that as if you don't know that I'm not a stupid bitch? Mm. At least about that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mean anything by it. Da -da -da -da, like whatever, blah, blah. No, sure. Sure. Yeah, of yeah, course. Right. Never does. Never does. They never do. They just love attention from outside women. I don't. I don't understand. It's good. You know what it is? It's good for the ego. Mm-hmm. I, I caught him cheating. Know. Whatever. We didn't talk for a couple of days, and then he kept trying to like win me over. He would buy me a bunch of shit, like flowers. He did this whole thing where he literally set up in his mom's backyard because he lived with his mom at the time. All the signs, and you didn't see them. I know. I'm telling we you. Get stupid. We yeah, get we, we do. We do. That's why love is blind. No, it is. Put a bunch of blankets outside with a bunch of candles and flowers and all this other shit. Whatever. Whatever. Um, I eventually, I forgave him, took him back, whatever. A couple months, that was June, right? And it's so funny because when we actually broke up and stuff, he was like, oh, like the first six months of our relationship, it was so great, like whatever. And then out of nowhere, like it went left. Like, I, I don't know what happened between us. I said, do you want to know what fucking happened six months into our relationship, you dumb bitch? You cheated on me. So no duh, everything changed. Like no, no wonder that the dynamic between us changed. Like, what are you talking about? So now you fuck up and I have to do the work to forgive you and make us better. How fucked up is that? And when somebody does you wrong, you have to do the work to fix it. Because in reality, now you healing is your responsibility, a responsibility that you did not bring upon yourself. Ridiculous. So my birthday comes along, July, August, September. So three months after that, we were finally on better terms until this shit happened. <laughs> he took my birthday week off. He said, I'm going to split it between you and my boys. A couple of his friends worked the same job. They take off that same week. And they said, okay, look, let's plan a trip. They planned a trip to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> cheating it, time cheating time that's what i'm saying like oh my god anyway i think there were other guys in the group that also had a relationship and i would yeah, not be surprised if a bunch of cheaters <laughs> Not only that, like literally, I'm not even trying to like be rude because I would say it. None of them are cute. Like literally, none Ugly of them. Ugly son of a bitch. Is it's it's always that. I don't get it. Literally, none of them. Even my ex. Mira, is yo really no te dejado con un zapato viejo. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> It's a Entonces, cheater and ugly? Get the fuck out of my face. I'm sorry. Because at least, you know, if he was a good man, I don't care what he looks like. Right, right, right. No, I don't care what you man. look like. But like, damn. Yeah, but you had a double whammy. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Get out of my face. No, you fuck me once, but you don't fuck me twice. Period. I love that. Okay. He was like, okay. The first half of the week, I'll spend it with you for your birthday because my birthday fell on a Tuesday. Uh -huh. So he said, okay, so Sunday through Wednesday, I'll spend it with you. Okay. Wednesday to Saturday, he's going to go to Vegas. Cool. And I was like the cool girlfriend. So they all asked me to drive them to the airport. La más stupida. The freaking yeah, no, most stupid one no, out of the I fucking did, group, yeah. literally. I don't Anyways. know why you did that. I said, go fucking crawl to the airport. <laughs> My birthday comes, whatever. My, my mom was pissed. She oh, was fucking I pissed, imagine. right? Um, I was hearing the story because your mom was giving me the story. I was hearing it in Puerto Rico and I'm going to kill the motherfucker. I'm going <laughs> to kill the So he gets to the house, whatever. And I was like, hey, like, he was like, I can't get like a haircut until like Tuesday night anyways. Uh -huh. What really pissed me off was like the fact that you knew this ahead of time and you didn't check ahead of time. Like everything that he did for me was very last minute, but everything for his trip was well planned. Yeah. Like you could tell he just didn't care. Comes over and my has like a little cake for me. So he's coming over to like blow out the candles with me before he takes yeah. me to like a little fancy dinner that, you know, we wanted planned, to go to. Yeah, little shit. Oh no, he didn't plan. No? No, he got to my house. Mind you, mm -hmm. he obviously could not get a haircut. And I told him, I said, I love you. You don't have to do all that. But in reality, like, even though I say that, like you should want to do these things for your partner. You know what I mean? Look yeah. good for them, yeah. put it in effort. Coming to the house, he had this like really wrinkled, like gray button up. It was untucked, like. This is last minute shit. That's what, I, 
That, thank you. There was that, right? It's like, I'm obligated last minute. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. It. It's just yeah. the fact that you have no pride in showing me how much you care about me and being romantic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Not only that, you know what really gets me? He also decides, I'm going to bring her a birthday card. On the birthday card, he used to call himself a buffalo because he was big and hairy. Don't yeah. understand. All these motherfuckers. <laughs> Sorry. For my birthday, you know what he got me? I don't remember what else he got me. He got me a couple other things, but like nothing crazy. I remember he got me these socks and you know what I said on it? It said, selective hearing specialist. <laughs> the card though, he said something along the lines, like we were like nine months in, we were almost at a year. He had never God. gone, he had never reached a year with someone. Understandable. So he writes on the card, grandma, listen to this, right? He goes, Wait, oh. So, let, let me not poke my eye. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you're making it almost to like a year being in the Buffalo clan, whatever, blah, 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 all this other shit. Like, it's about him. It's always about him. And then he goes and tells me, mind you, I'm reading all this and opening this shit in front of my mother. So my mom is like sitting there like, oh, I could imagine Elisa. <laughs> He then tells me, like, you're giving yourself away. He says, I'm sorry if the handwriting's all messed up. I wrote it on the way here. Oh, whip de do. Ay, mira, yo le doy con la tarjeta en la cabeza. I'll fucking break that card in on his head. Shit. So, what's it called? So, we head to the restaurant. And I'm like, okay, like, where are we going? Like, I'm really, really excited, whatever. Mind you, I dressed up so cute. I had this, like, royal blue velvet dress on. Oh, it was beautiful. beautiful. He goes, I don't know, where do you want to go? Like, you didn't even think to just pick a place? I don't even care. Bring me wherever. Honestly, there's a video going around right now about like this girl that said she doesn't want to go to the Cheesecake, cheesecake Factory because she thinks, look at this guy trying to bring a girl that looks like me to the Cheesecake Factory. You're ruining it for women, you know what I mean? Saying like, uh -huh. saying like shit girl, like that. Cheesecake know. Factory, there's nothing wrong with Cheesecake Factory. That's where I stand on that matter. Anyways, so he did not pick a place to go. So now I'm over here like rushing and like Googling places that we can go for my birthday. Who knows if we can even get in? Mind you, we're all dressed all fancy and stuff. You know what Aww. I'm saying? We ended up like picking a place, whatever, and we ended up going. He obviously like paid for dinner, but the worst part is now, okay, obviously like I go back home with him. We ended up, you know, having sex, yeah. whatever. Again, nothing is shaved on this man. Oh, fuck. But this is where it gets good. I think it was the next day or something like that. The morning mm -hmm. of, I stayed at his house because this is when he was going to go and take off for his trip to Vegas with his boys. I get up early, whatever. It's like five or six in the morning, right? <laughs> Tell me why this motherfucker comes into the room. And I'm not stupid. Like, I I, I was a he little... shaved up from all inside out and he, over he... his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he comes into the room in a towel and tell me why he's bald everywhere. <laughs> bald everywhere. Ball sack, asshole, the whole nine. Yeah, like literally bald everywhere. You. For what? Um, my birthday was yesterday. He said, I have a lot of hair and it's really hot out there. I don't want to sweat. Oh, shut up. Eat my ass. <laughs> Eat my ass. I'm like really seeing this blatantly in my face. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I bring them all to the airport. I, I kept his car for the week, basically. Uh, a couple days into his trip, I was so sick of his shit and the fact that he left like that. And he yeah, tried to make said. me feel like I was crazy. That two days into his trip, I stopped talking to him. Like entirely. Like he couldn't reach me. Like, good at all. So now he's calling me, leaving me voicemails, like the whole line. He's like, I'm staying in the hotel all night. I'm not even going to go out with the boys. Whatever. Please call me back. All this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. And when he got home, you know what he had waiting for him at home? What? He had a letter from me with all his shit from my house in his car. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I would have paid for anything to just see his face. <laughs> I was and good. Like, he must have been dumbfounded. <laughs> he wasn't blocked though either. Okay. So he can still send me stuff. He can still call me. I just was not answering. Exactly. So, that's it. Good yeah. for you. So I, hey, not for nothing though. After, after we broke up though, he, listen, just a little forward, you know, fast forward here. So he actually has hit me up twice since we broke up like and we literally broke up january of 2020 yeah. right after our, our one year anniversary like literally like two weeks after our one year anniversary okay. it's been quite a while but literally he has messaged me he sent me like novels and stuff like that basically like 
talking about how he's sorry about what he did. Oh my God, if I can find, oh my God, wait, I'm going to read that message. Both of my relationships have ended because- Just give him a chance because you wanted to, otherwise- Yeah, here's the thing. I honestly, both of my relationships ended because I impulsively broke up with him after like being just hurt so many times. Back up your shit. This is how I was like, back up your shit. Back up your shit and get out that fucking door. Here's the bag. Pack up your shit because I ain't packing it off. And I said, and move because there's a line behind you waiting. Like, not for nothing, it's not even just about, like, using other men, it's about the fact that you tried to play me as if I didn't have other options and I wasn't someone that was valuable. So this one really thought I was never gonna leave him, because obviously I kept forgiving him. I permitted it. I understand, like, why he kept doing the bullshit that he did, honestly. I mean, did I deserve it? Absolutely not. When you finally say, get out of here, they don't understand that this is the last time. You know, now he was probably cutting his veins over there in his house and crying his heart out. Asshole, I'm so glad. He, like, got back home, whatever, and he was a fucking hot mess. We didn't talk for quite a while, and I was like, you don't appreciate Shabby, you don't do nothing like da, 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 da. like I'm all set like I don't deserve this and so we then end up like trying to like work on things and fix shit but like it honestly really only went south after that because I, I didn't trust you I can't trust you after that finally got his own apartment but it was in his grandma's house technically he just moved from first floor with his mom to, 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 to the third own. floor on, it, on his own yeah I just was kind of like over it because I also like was like hey like invite your mom upstairs like we'll have like a dinner all together whatever <laughs> I'll cook after the f- and this is how I like knew for a fact after all the bullshit that he put me through but also this right here I was like he does not respect me like I will not end up with this guy and this is what led to like the, the last final, blow up yeah. and I held it in because I was the type of person when I was in a relationship I don't do that now but when I was in a relationship I would hold things in until it was yeah, time for me to blow up of, and that's yeah. a problem it's not okay though either because I can't expect people to be a psychic person hey. yep when his mom and stepmom stopped eating like they were done eating they were like oh like do you want us to like put this in like the, the sink or whatever and then he goes no don't worry she got it bitch excuse me yeah that's no. what he thinks about women fuck that shit yeah, absolutely that shit. not so that is the story on how my ex messed up my birth Day. Never like thank God I, I don't I never met him. What a son of a bitch. He's lucky I'm not there. I'd be fucking beating the shit out of him. You know. <laughs> so funny because he actually ended up hitting me up he sent me a novel like on facebook or whatever like apologizing for everything and then at one point Stupid. oh my god let me read it hold on and it was on january 8th 2022 so last year right he goes hey for what it is it's been a while i really need to tell i really feel like i need to tell you i'm sorry for everything i was going through a lot i was young going through a lot yeah, go- yeah I, mean, I don't know what younger. you were going through like what do you mean like what were you going through like nothing. i was around you the entire time you well, unless you never told me nothing but like yeah right okay i was going through a lot and you were a bit you were a bit overwhelmed at times and I ran from you. It was a selfish thing to do and with everything going on in the world, I don't want you to think I thought you were fat. What the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> and I you're know. a hairy fucking monster. <laughs> What the fuck? I know, no, no, no. There are very much good men out in this world, I promise. But here's the thing. I think he thinks that I got my surgery because of him. You were always beautiful to me. You were just too strong for me at the time and I didn't realize what I had. I know you have your life going on and I'm really happy for you. I just want, I don't want to leave any stone not turned and not explained. I've been really trying to know God lately and just change my life around with choices. <laughs> What choices? I know it's a Saturday night and you're busy doing whatever you may be doing, but there's just been a heavy feeling on me to reach out to tell you I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. I know the damage is done, but I'm really sorry. This is a lot, I know, but I just needed to let you know and it's super random. I don't expect you accepting this or anything, but you are a great person. You deserve everything. I was just prideful, honestly, 21 years old working in so-and-so place with horrible influences all around me and turning 24 has just really been a reality check. Oh, give me a fucking break. Once an asshole, always an asshole. It was definitely a toxic relationship. That was not good. New Year's, this last Last year, um, 2022 going into 2023, so like a, like what, 11 months after he sent that message, he added me on Snapchat and then deleted the request in the middle of the night. I never accepted it, but I think he thought that if he deleted it, I wouldn't see it, but that just saw it anyway. I saw it anyway. Sorry, dude. So. And I have another story for y'all. I'm not gonna get into the details of it. He started dating a girl shortly after us ending. So I'm sure that they were talking while we were together, whatever. She started harassing me with photos I had privately sent him. Oh shit. That'll be story time part two. Ella puso un casting para los que valoran. Si no es seguro para no ser.